everybody. Today we are going to learn how to copy a file from a running Docker container to the host machine. So first of all, you need to have Docker installed, of course, and you need to have um, a Docker container running. So to achieve that, I created this file, this Docker file, you should be aware that this exists and it basically runs the Redis file, the Redis, uh, Redis container, uh, which is based on Redis image, of course. And then we just copy a text file to the root, um, to the root directory in this, uh, running container. Uh, after that, we are going to copy again this file from the running container to our local machine uh, and that's it. So if you see here, uh, we have a Docker file, which is this one that we are going to see, are going to see and the text file, which is, this is a sample text file. That's it. So right now, what we are going to do is to build this Docker file. So you can run Docker build dash t which means tag test dash copy it's the tag that you are going to give to this image and dot which means go to this uh, directory and search for a docker file so if you do that you are going to pull the image i already got it so that's it so you see, if you go to docker images you'll know that you have here a container create named test copy. So after this, we, you just need uh, to run this container. So this image in this case, so you run the image and you get the container running. So we don't care about exposing Redis ports and I'm not going to run this in uh, daemon mode. So you just need to do Docker run and the name of your image. And that's it. You have your container running. You could run this in daemon mode, but I would ju just will go ahead and create um, a new tab. And after that, what we're going to do is do Docker PS and you'll see that the image is running. So let's go ahead and uh, enter in the interactive bash inside this um, Docker container. For that, you can do Docker exec dash it your container id and you'll say bash you're inside it so as you say here you we copy the text file to the root of this container so if you go cd root and you do ls and you do cat text file you'll see that your text file is here so apart from that you just now we are just going to copy this file to our local machine. I will copy to my desktop. So we are going to use the cp command on Docker. So it's just Docker cp your container ID, which is this one. Uh, in this case, I'm going to I'm not going to do this inside of container, of course. So let's let's create another tab, <laughs> and um, let's make it bigger. Awesome and let's go and docker cp our container id our path to our text file which will be so let's see where it is so it just slash your text file so container id slash text file which is the name of the file and now we just need to uh, to choose where you should copy it. So I'm copying to home desktop and that should be hit. So if you run this command, you will see that a new file was created in my desktop. And if we open this file, it will be indeed our text file. So I hope you guys enjoyed and you saw that it's really simple to copy a file to your local machine from a running Docker container.